What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and the reason that the term fake news stuck around so long after Donald Trump used it and popularized it in 2017 is because it rings so true. So many people over the past few years have woken up to the realization that so much of what they see from the mainstream media, if it's not just straight up fabricated and fake, oftentimes it is presented from such a ridiculous slanted angle that you can't even call it true. So when people see that type of thing, they become very inherently untrustworthy of these sources from these people in the mainstream media. And what we got revealed in Katie Couric's most recent book only furthers that point. Look at this headline. Katie Couric admits to editing Ruth Bader Ginsburg's comments about NFL players kneeling to protect her. Now, I remember when this interview happened and something that Ruth Bader Ginsburg had said, you know, it drew a little bit of eye, drew a little people to say, wow, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, maybe she doesn't think that they should be kneeling for the national anthem in the NFL. But Katie Couric took what she said and she completely minimized it. She withdrew a lot of the context. And in reality, she did this to protect Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Katie Couric edited these comments out of political reasons. So can you trust anything that this woman has ever said or will ever say? The answer is no. But let's look at these details. Katie Couric has admitted to editing comments from Ruth Bader Ginsburg during an interview to, quote, protect her. And the, the cult, the weird cult following that Ruth Bader Ginsburg has received, especially among seemingly middle-aged women who literally will idolize her, dress up as her, with, as her for Halloween, who want to watch like workout videos of her when she was like 83 years old. It's very creepy and very weird. But she is one of those people that uh, a certain segment of the very radical feminist people, they really attach themselves to. During an interview with Couric, the late Supreme Court Justice has said that those who kneel during the national anthem are, quote, showing contempt for a government that has made it possible for their parents and grandparents to live a decent life. Here's the full quote right here, which they probably could not have lived in the places they came from. As they became older, they realized this was youthful folly, and that's why education is important. So this is what Ruth Bader Ginsburg is saying about people like Colin Kaepernick, people that were protesting the anthem in the NFL, people that even just last year in so many of these sports leagues were kneeling during the national anthem like little bitches. The Daily Mail reports, the former Today Show host reveals in her new book that she let personal political views influence her editing decisions after her interview with the late Supreme Court Justice in 2016. In Couric's Cor new memoir, Going There, she details how she did include Ginsburg saying that Colin Kaepernick kneeling was, quote, dumb and disrespectful, but edited out the comments where she elaborated on her view. What that? I don't know why she would admit this. Maybe she didn't think it would get this much attention. Maybe she's trying to get this much attention to sell her memoir. I don't know. But you have just blatantly destroyed any reputation that you had, Katie Couric, with that simple admission. Couric claims she believed the justice, who was 83 at the time, was just, quote, elderly and probably didn't fully understand the question. If someone is so old and out of it that they don't understand the question, don't you think that we should be talking about this person not being a member of the Supreme Court of the United States? That's an entirely different conversation. The fact that we have some people who are so old and their mental faculties are so diminished that they should not be in these positions of power, that they should not be in positions to, whether it's create law, whether it's interpret law, whether it's enforce the law. This is something that is uh, more wide sweeping than just focused on Ruth Bader Ginsburg, but there you have it. She's just too old. She didn't understand what I was saying. How is she going to understand an argument in a court of law if she doesn't understand a simple question from a reporter like Katie Couric? Couric felt that when Ginsburg said people like Kaepernick were dumb and disrespectful, there were comments that were unworthy of a crusader for equality, like the liberal Supreme Court justice, the Daily Mail report says. The day after the sit-down, the head of public affairs for the Supreme Court emailed Couric to say the late justice had misspoken and asked that it be removed from the story. These people are evil. These people are manipulative. Holy shit. Your words, I just didn't feel like they fit what I thought that you would think. So I didn't publish them after they asked me not to. That is so disgustingly disingenuous. 
no integrity from Katie Couric? In addition to the comics detailed, Ginsburg had also said, I think it's a terrible thing to do, but I wouldn't lock a person up for doing it. I would point out how ridiculous it seems to me to do such an act. Yes, it would be stupid, but there's no law that should be preventative of that. If they want to be arrogant, there's no law that prevents them. What I would do is strongly take issue with the point of view that they're expressing when they should do that or when they do that. That's all. That's not even the end of the world. Literally, it's all, all she's saying is, listen, I think that people in this country overall have had it pretty good, especially in compared to previous generations. And the people that are kneeling during the national anthem out of some sort of protest, they have very little idea of where they came from and where they are now. That's all she said. I wouldn't make a law saying you can't do that. All I would say is I think you're kind of stupid if you do. But no, that was too much for Katie Couric. Katie Couric needs to protect the great Ruth Bader Ginsburg at all costs. This is a pathetic thing. I can't believe she admitted it. And uh, I don't know how long this is going to follow her around, what it's going to affect, how it's going to affect her reputation. But I do know one thing. All it does is further validate every single person who has ever uttered the term fake news to describe the mainstream media. Because over and over again, they continue to show us that that's exactly what they are. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Subscribe to Patriot Outpost. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you later.